All right, I guess we'll wait for the cards and then join the league. I guess I'll get the deck list up real quick. Maybe I'll play all five matches. It depends on how long the matches take, I guess. It's just cool, that's acceptable, fair enough. Alright, deck list should be updated. Can someone let me know if it went through? I guess we'll go round by round because I'm not sure if I'll play all of it out right now. Oh, I guess I have to choose 5-0. Or the last one. We did 5-0. All the Bleavers got paid off. Went through. Cool. Alright, new prediction up. And thanks for everyone being here. Alright, uh, get your bets in. I'm gonna join the league. Play a few matches, I'm not sure how many. Maybe we'll finish the entire league if the matches are fast. Alright, where are my opponents? Chat? Are they all scared? They know I won too much in the last league, so they're scared now. Forgot to pay the actors, but I'd already paid them last match. Oh, whoops, I wasn't supposed to say that. Well, I have the combo. I'm not even joking, I have a combo in my hand because Inspector plus Top plus Forge just draws your deck, right? Start for my opponent. Double queued in the commander game. Fair enough. Ooh, that's also a good draw. Right. Let's see what they do. Ooh, 
Inspector Grid is some nonsense. If they have a force, they probably have to force this. They did. Right. Up. Okay. Your turn. Just tap out for some irrelevant creature, please. Let me do my thing. That's not an irrelevant creature. Okay, that's fine. All right. All right, chat. Any believers that I'm going to win? No believers want to bet? Only haters, no believers. No Omega Wall. Wow, MLX. Is that toxic? Alright, man. Okay. They chose the shuffle. Win for me? Well, I mean, this what it is. Some marginal number of cards. Should I block? So I'll have three. So Karn will cost. Well, I can't even cast Karn next turn, so probably should block. Because I can spin again and look. I guess I have a new plan. Oh wait, um, actually I should just let them hit me, I think. They can get the workshop. I think I probably should have just spawn on their turn actually, but I'll let them hit me. Can't imagine them not attacking anyways. Treasure cruise? Looks like a cruise. breach in their deck. So do I... Because I lead with the grid. It only costs one mana. I don't think they can really have anything. So I should be able to do a bunch of nonsense now. So... I can draw the vat. I can vat away the grid, actually, which is probably what I want to do. I guess they just die instead, that's so boring, but I guess it's acceptable.
Wait, up to two with total? Oh, wait, this card... Oh, wow, I did not read this card, but okay, whatever. This is fine. Whatever, I guess it, I mean, I guess I killed my opponent with it, so. Just guy control, I guess. Oh, I was on the draw, but it did mole, but they had ancestral and then they just didn't have anything else that mattered. Uh, this might be a case where I sideboard zero cards and hope it works out. Because this sideboard doesn't do anything. Well, I have a Foundry Inspector. I think Foundry Inspector might be the best card in the version of this deck, to be fair. I'm going to play around like a Meltdown or like by force or whatever nonsense. There's no reason to expose more artifacts now, I feel like. I don't love the retro frame personally, but if other people like it, that's fine. You know, let people like whatever they want to like. Yeah, I mean, I don't like it, but I obviously don't feel strongly about it. All right, let's play a thought cast. Yes. Oh, I should have put it white, I guess. That's fine. Oh god, are they gonna hole breach for me? Oh, if they hole breach for me, that's fine. It's also not even the right time to hold Breacher me, I think, if you have Hold Breacher, so there's also that. I'm just kind of dying. What the hell is going on? I'm going to get Aether for your Dane. Oh, they left in Mental in this step. Alright. Sure. Uh, Sega. Saving this for an Arcanist or whatever. Your Planeswalker advance you? Come on. <laughs> Dark Finn, huh? Okay. I should have waited until my end step or their end step, but kill the deck still. No 
No way they have more than one deck, right? Seems basically impossible. I think I'm going to just ignore their Foundry Inspector, but I'm definitely killing their deck. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There can only be one Greatest Thief in the multiverse. Adam gets it. Do the rest of you get it? Am I, going to, am I about to get, like, Meltdown or some nonsense? Oh, boy. What they go after. That's a lot of shatterings for targets. Alright, I think I'm just going to draw. Well, I didn't do that for very, some very specific reasons. And I think you maybe have understood why I didn't do that. Uh, do I want to spin in response? Spin in response, draw, I guess. I think this spree is absolutely beatable given my hand. I don't know, like, it doesn't feel that bad. I mean, it's certainly bad, but it's not the end of the world, you know? Because, like, the top gets me two cards. And they only have two cards in hand. And I have another Saga. I I am at 14. Where's their... Okay. Let's see. Four. Four. Okay. Probably just... Want to draw this top again, anyways. I mean, this was definitely bad for me. I don't think anyone can dispute that. We'll have four, eight. So I can play Monolith, that, that, away of that. Not sure. I mean, I have two vats is the reason I want to do that. Also, you can't vat a vat away. Now, in fact, I guess I will... <clears throat> I'll go to 7, which 
is fine. We'll just get Sapphire Opal and play top. <coughs> and spin top? Probably. Seems good to me. Oh wait, I can get... I can actually get Monolith Opal. But, hmm, maybe I should get Needle Opal, or Needle Sapphire and Needle Wasteland. Maybe it's Needle Sapphire is best. Sapphire Monolith? Are you sure? Actually, I believe you. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think I need to spin. I was just thinking it through. I'll just say go now. Okay, I probably need to do a bunch of shit this turn, otherwise I'm gonna lose my board to that bush shattering spree. Well, there's no para Paradox Engine in the deck, but yeah, that's the general idea, I think. Hold on, do I have enough to fare for Tundra Inspector first? Does it do anything? Four. Oh no, I cannot. Four, five, go to two. Fair for a key to default. Alright, fair. So I probably should just start with this then. Okay, I guess I can... So I can get key... Key mana vault. Or just key mocks actually probably does it. I play fair. Use the two floating tap. Works, yeah. I think this also works, right? Whatever. It it all works out. Key, load is sure. It's kind of the same thing. Well, my opponent's hellbent, so that doesn't matter. Alright. Want to match with this deck, too. The Believers have it, chat. The Believers have it. There's a lot of thinking there. But if the whatever dancer is that binding of Isaac sequel, I guess it is. You only pretend to be dead, that's why you didn't bet. Fair enough, and what's fair enough. Another bet's up though. Let's play the second match. Comical Flop is a good name though. Oh, it's its own game? Cool. Oh, is that like the one where you're like a cultist? 
Oh, Sense of Rhythm? I have no idea what this game is then. Yes. Now you're a real doubter? Fair enough. I mean, I, I, I did win the first match. You gotta, you gotta be wary of that. You gotta be wary of that. <laughs> 13 year old, you? Dare I ask how old you are now? Crypt beat turn based game. Like, like rhythm beats or what? I can't think about that, I guess, off the top of my head. Bad beats? Hmm, sad. Anyways, speaking of bad beats, thanks for everyone being here. If you want to support the stream, hit that follow button, that's free to do. If you really want to support the stream, consider using a Twitch Prime sub or a regular sub. We do open chests for those here. And, uh, thanks for being here. Oh, it's been a while since I played Vintage, but 5-0 with Grix's Breach, Tinker, and 1-0 with Smelting Vat Chop so far. It's a good day to be alive, I suppose. It has layers like Humility? Well, Humility is a headache of a magic card, chat. Vintage hasn't changed. It's kind of changed. Get ready. Hasn't changed a lot, though. Yo, know, what's up, Buckingham? Hope you're having a good one. I think the, like, most impactful card for cards for Vintage have been, like, Old Breacher, Opposition, Agent, and Urza Saga. Dredge. Well, if it's Dredge, I'm about to... F them up real bad. Displays her kitchen and willing next. What's up, Log T1? It's been a while. Displays her kitten is a card that I was so bad we want to be good, and I think it's bad, so. Also, this hand's kind of lit, even if I weren't for stretch, honestly. I am playing both formats at Eternal Weekend, yeah, in uh, Philadelphia. I'm staying with Mike Noble. Cool. Kitten 1, Eternal Weekend Asia. I mean, Displacer Kitten is a pretty powerful magic card. I own a set of them. I was going to play them in Legacy at some point, and then... I tested the deck a bunch, and I couldn't beat Is it, so I gave up. Four seasons. Blinking Jewel is pretty powerful. Hmm. Let's see. We'll still roll this one just in case, you know. Alright, they may not be Dredge. That's anything. So they're like a shop stack as well. Well, my play's pretty scripted. Don't want them wasting my uh, academy. Oh, whoops. 
It's not saying quite. It's fine. I want to play that out. I can wait until next turn. I mean, it's not dredge, but if they're a shop stack, my start is pretty scary for them. I mean, this pithing deal is just plus one plus one to my constructs, you know? Kill them before that takes over the game. That's scary. That's scary. Please terminate. Terminate. Okay, cool. Alright, this is a large monster. 5 5. I just get Sensei's Divining Top and see if I can somehow stitch a win together. Feels like that's the play, probably. Yeah, I think so. I don't really see. I don't really feel like doing anything else wins. It doesn't seem like it does it. So this is 12 damage for my opponent to 2. I Yeah, having the forge on top would have been excellent. Because top plus forge is obviously like kind of bananas. Um, There's nothing else I can do, I think. So I should just attack for 12, put them to 2. That just off Ancient Tomb and hope they brick. There you go. I mean, my Urza Saga was really good this game, but I could still lose, obviously. Alright, they're at one. Bulls of Citadel, huh? I don't like... So, is, okay. I guess it is... Does anyone have a deck list for this deck? When you say deterministic, do you mean it's actually arbitrarily large? Limited on deck size? Used all of their mana. Jesus. I'm kind of curious for a deck list for this deck. Does can someone link to it? Ooh, I may be dead, chat. Wait, why didn't they return that one? Chat? Hello? Why wouldn't that one be returned? Did they just misclick, probably? Fuck, I am so dead. They can draw a key. Oh, that makes sense. Alright, I am very dead now. Uh, 
practical outcome paper. Thank you for the list. Oh, so this is the kitten deck, I see. Okay, yeah, I'm probably playing against this, for sure. I mean, we've seen the Metamorph. We've seen the blue cards. Why is there a Moonsilver key in this deck? It's interesting. Okay, there's a kitten, so I'm probably dead. They can just start flickering their... We can pack it up. I'm actually dead. Um, well. I would just submit and hope it goes better. Like... Don't really think I have a lot of agency to change much else. Mono blue displacer kitten, I guess. Is that in the play and I lost? Looks like it. I also need old bizarre Baghdad. Two mana for defense grid. Probably off the swamp and smelting that and see what happens. Sure. I mean, this is not like the most insane hand, but I cannot believe mulliganing this hand is correct. Grid. Okay, your turn. Right. I see. This is like a ramp mirror. Okay, well. I'm getting destroyed in the arena of ideas in the ramp mirror. Because I have to play it off of that. So I could get I could either get Mana Crypt plus Grimonolith or Top plus Key. But oh if I get Mana Crypt Grimonolith, I can refire. So maybe that's worth it. Because it'll be this will be three. Because I can play another smelting that. I probably am supposed to do that. I don't really want to let them untap on that board. Yo, thanks for being here, dogs. Cool. Actually, I can tap like this, I guess. And sack the other vat, which is probably worth it. So now that terminates the chain, unfortunately, but I can get, I guess, Grim top, play Soul Guide, say go. Get Grim on with sensitive eye top. Monolith top spin into key. Okay, I guess that's fair. I do have one floating. Time vault. It's not really ideal. Does drawing the workshop do anything for me next turn? Kind of, I guess. Right. I guess I'll say go and hope I don't get killed, but... I 
I hope they're just on like a Saga, Grind Saga Contract Stroll instead of anything else. Clearing Academy, huh? Seems like bad news bears for me, if I'm not gonna lie. Metal Work Colossus? Probably not, but you can do that. Tinker for Citadel, probably. Brick, 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 brick. Brick, 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 brick. I'm Pokemon? I don't generally believe I'm a Pokemon. Do I want to draw the Time Vault next turn? Hope to get lucky. Or would I rather draw the top? So I'd still rather draw the top. Okay. Song is the best from our galaxy? Cool. I've never played that game, so couldn't tell you. We need a Voltaic key, but, or a key of some sort, but we still have time to find it. So I'll just look for it. I guess I can draw Karn, play it. It'll be one short mana wise, right? Four, shit. I'm one mana short. Can we have another turn when they have a fucking Citadel? Oh, it's so scary, though. The problem is Karn doesn't do much. I can, like... Yeah, Karn doesn't do anything. So maybe what I'm supposed to do is play and crack... Let's see, if I play and crack Lantern, I'll be down to... Well, it's just going to die to the Construct, right, M Moses? Because, like, I can either make a Construct or play the Karn this turn. I can't do both. So... That's why I'm thinking so long about it. Um, so I could play and crack the soul guide floating one.
Right, Saga fetching top guarantees they can't brick. So I'm kind of just dead, right? I don't really see a way out of it. Unless if they don't get top for some reason. Gotta be lucky. Well, the problem is I don't even think I can really get lucky, right? Somehow I used all of my mana that turn. It's kind of insane to think about it, but you know, it is what it is. All right, just say go. Of course, if they understand like what all of the cards do, I'm gonna die, but that's okay. I mean, is what it is. I don't think I really could have done very much in this game, right? Like, I kind of maximized all of my draws, right? I'm trying to think of it all the way through, but it kind of felt like I did everything the way it was supposed to happen, right? Might go back and rewatch, I guess. My Karn is in fact dying, so I expect to die in a fiery blaze of Bolus' Citadel card drawing. I guess I'll let them have fun for a bit though. I'm not a monster. God, Volus is it all such a drug? Chat, do y'all like this Citadel art? Or the OG? The real question, you know? I'm asking the real questions here. OG? I'm also an OG fan. Well, actually, Lyserg, I would have guessed he would have said OG personally. Well, I've never had heroin, so I don't know, and I don't plan to have heroin, so there you go. Ten floating. Alright, they've had enough fun now. Alright, 1-1. One, one. Clearly this deck is worse than Grixis Tinker. Uh, I think I'm going to play one more match, how we call it. Getting sleepy now. But again, thanks for everyone being here. You know how to support the stream. Hit that follow button. That's free to do and does help support the stream. Twitch Prime subs, you get one per month. Don't let the dollars end up in Bezos' pocket. And you can also use a regular sub. We open chests for either Twitch Prime subs or regular subs here though. So thanks for being here.
Yo, EOT Impulse, thank you for the prime sub. Let me know if I should open a chest for you. Okay, let's get some Jarvis claps in chat for EOT Impulse. Yo, Louie, thanks as well. Just for you as well, Louie. Let me know. Bow of Nylea and Rhyme Scale Dragon. Alright, one more for Louie now. You know, Moses, you did your best. Boulder Heavyweights, that's a warrior, not a coward, so it can block. And 3 or 5 play points. Not a great chest, but... Okay, playing against Anti-Rush. Do you think they don't like being Zerg Rushed, chat? That's my read on the situation, personally. Zerg Rush was probably too much for them. They dislike Canadian rock band Rush. That seems unlikely, personally, but... Is MTG going to do a StarCraft set? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me by this point, honestly, but... You know, they've already, like, jumped the shark a million times, so who cares? What does this hand do? Man Mox. Unscrewed. Like, reluctant keep is how I would describe this, but it can definitely go south. Welp. I'm playing a mirror match. That's all I have to say, chat. I do not want to play out my defense grid anymore. Oh, that's a good draw. Yeah. I think the actual play is... I'm just going to kill the creature, because it's too valuable. Plus, this also ramps me for next turn. Pretty sure I don't need to play Defense Grid versus that deck. We want to sack the grid. Maybe next turn. But usually you want to chain the Mightstone Weak Stones, so. I mean, Urza, do I play zero? Didn't you look at the deck list? Alright. want to draw two? Do I just want to kill the Foundry Inspector? Probably just kill the Foundry Inspector. I have enough to activate Inventor Spare this turn. Maybe I'll, I will regret not playing that Defense Grid out, but I'll just say go now. And probably just search for a key. End step off the mana. Oh yeah, there was no drawback. I probably should have played it that one turn, yeah. That was probably a mistake. 
I do like Urza. Adam knows I will take that card just super high in uh, Vintage Cube Draft. Maybe I should just get Time Vault, actually. But it seems like a key is better, most likely. Get key. Mystic Forge plus key is probably enough to win, if I had to guess. Okay, well, that's probably just good enough, period. Just looking for time ball. And it's kind of important you like one shot them. Hope it's on the bottom of my deck. Okay, that's fine. I guess I can probably. If I somehow brick, I can probably just end up with Karn and play with a bunch of blockers as well. So it's probably sufficient, if I had to guess. I guess maybe I can just Karn, actually I can probably just Karn uh, Lattice them as well, which is probably good enough. Right, I guess I'll just do that, which saves time. Oh shoot, I should have uh, killed that first, but that's fine. I can just cast another one. I'm just clicking buttons now, realistically. Minus five. That was a misplay though. 
Get my saga out. Cast that. Cast that. Cast that. Oh, actually, I guess I have a deterministic two time bolt, probably. I can just chain through my deck to find it. Alright. Cool. Where's my time vault? It's... Noise yield. That plus put bunch of keys. Yeah, I hadn't played the deck until today. This is my third match with the deck. I lost to Mono Blue, like, Displacer Kit in the last round with P.O. The one Inventor's Fair has been pretty good so far over the Lotus Petal. That's all I'm going to say. Whoever suggested that props, I don't remember who, but it was definitely like, you know, uh, much better than Lotus Petal would have been. And I think kind of probably he completes your two card like artifact -y combos a lot. I, mean, I have three dismembers actually. I cut like some random sideboard card for another dismember because I think it's like, it's kind of weird to have a bunch of tutor targets of, I don't know, like... It kind of seems to me that there are too many Karn targets in this sideboard. This deck struggles with Pithing Needle pretty bad. I don't believe you. I mean, I am not doing any science on that. Okay. My key. Okay. I'm just going to my next turn. Like clicking more buttons doesn't do anything. It waste more time. Uh, yeah, but sometimes it can be hard to cast the Might Stone Weak Stone under. Um, an oof, I feel like, is the answer. That. That. Take you for 9,000 damage. Yeah, I mean, all right. I'm gonna actually cut grids for dismembers because I think interacting with Foundry Inspector is one of the like ways you can actually interact in these mirrors. I don't want to side in the key because I think Karning for the. Oh, actually, no. I think I should side in the key because once you get Karn in play, it's like almost good enough by itself. So I'm gonna side in three dismembers and the key. Hands excellent, so I'm not gonna mulligan. I have uh, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight mana on turn one. So that's. Oh, they have an island? Okay, they left in their grids. Okay. Sure.
No spin. I'll draw needle and name manifold key, I guess, because I have the saga. And I have that advantage. This game is very weird. They played a second opal. Okay, they have a Karn. That's really bad for me. How are we gonna lose now? Mm -hmm. Signs seem to point to the fact that I cannot beat Karn. And Karn is restricted, so... Cool. Well, I mean, that advantage doesn't matter when none of my cards do anything anymore, so... I mean, this is basically just a ramp mirror, so, like... I even lost the die roll in game one, but this game I don't think is winnable. If only the might turn would hit burn. Well, I have a shot, I think, because now I can cast this. And kill their Foundry Inspector and try to attack Karn down. Do I own this deck of paper? No, absolutely not. I do not own many of the cards in this deck, is how I would put it. Why are you asking? You're going to rob me? Steal all my decks? Uh, the Eternal Weekend I'm playing is in Philadelphia. So you're going to rob me at Philadelphia? That's a really good draw, actually. This game has... Sort of okay for me, weirdly. It's probably not actually okay for me, but... Uh, it's a Smelting Vat Mirror. Although I'm not 100% sure my opponent's also Smelting Vat Danny, but I believe they're Smelting Vat. I got a 5-0 earlier with Grixis Breach, but I wanted to, like, just do something else, you know? Okay, it is a Smelting Vat Mirror. Are they Burgie in their deck? I see. Wanting that good or a meme? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> yes has been called. Oh, I draw another Mightstone Weakstone. Who can say? Did not.
We might run out of trump blockers, right? Right, chat? Right? Maybe I should have sighted in some worm quails. I don't know. Doesn't actually seem like worm quail does a lot, except in the games where Karn is, in, Karn is involved. Okay. I don't think I can draw out of this anymore. Next game. No, I, this is not a finance stream. Should have had Needle in my deck and sub Soul Guide Lantern. So, let's, let's count. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's three for Inspector. So you could go Inspector, Inspector, Vat, go. Is that good? It's probably pretty good, right? I'm playing that. It's mostly just a fairish card. It's there's like no true combo. Oh, I'm not playing the second vat this turn. I'm not. Maybe I should just play that then. I guess I will. Saga. It's fine. Gonna attack first, then pot it away. Hoping to find Monolith plus key. Easy game, chat. Easy game. It does. There's definitely, there's like 7,000 keys. It's not actually Birthing Pod, you only look at your top eight. It's more like Collected Company. All right, two, one. Eight is a lot of cards, I won't deny that. I was on the draw game one and I won that game, which is kind of, Kind of a pega, I think. Like, I feel like if you're in the draw, if you're in the draw in this matchup, it seems heinous. 
I'm not even joking. Like, it's just like, it seems so hard to like come back from being in the draw in the mirror because like, it's just a ramp mirror essentially. So it's just seems so hard to get out of it. But uh, I feel like I got lucky in that game. At least chat. Um, don't think I'm going to play more tonight. But we'll open one chest for all the loyal viewers. Raven Doomsayer and World Horror. Again, if you want to support the stream, hit that follow button. That's free to do and help support the stream. If you really want to support the stream, check out the links and the the stream title and consider using the Twitch Prime sub or a regular sub here. I'm going to raid someone real quick, so hold on one sec. <laughs> 